my name is teacher Amelia and I'm here today with the first of five videos about Slidekick which is a fairly new app that was released to help teachers use Google Slides in their VIP kid classrooms so today is episode one getting started so I'd like to start by explaining what is Slidekick and really what is it not so Slidekick is an app that was developed by VIP Kid teachers for VIP Kid teachers to help find and organize props, rewards, and other teaching tools using Google Slides for their classrooms. It's not designed to actually display the slides. Um, you know, you can use a web browser or several, there's several other options that you can use to actually display the slides, but this is really meant to help find and organize those slides. Where can you get Slidekick? It's not available in any app store. The only way that you can get it is through the Google Slides group. And so the easiest way is through Facebook, and I'll include a link to that Facebook group in the comments. If you don't use Facebook or you don't have a, a way to connect there, there is an alternative method, so please contact me in the comments and I'll make sure to get you that link. But you won't find Slidekick in any of the major app stores. It's simply not available. Um, once you join the Facebook group, if you go to the very top and go to announcements, there's going to be a pinned announcement that includes the slide guide. And the slide guide has every answer you could ever want, both about Google Slides and about Slidekick. So these videos I'm doing are just a tiny little taste of what you'll find in the slide guide. Um, so absolutely start there when you get into that Facebook group. The first time that you download it, on any device. So you can download it on your phone, on an iPad, on your desktop. So the first time you download it on any device, it's going to prompt you to input an email address. And then once you do it, will email you a PIN. Then go to the app, input that, that PIN, and it'll let you log in. For the most part, I stay logged in all the time. Every once in a while, it'll log out and it'll prompt you to enter your email and get a new PIN. So it's a real quick process when that happens. But for the majority of time, I stay signed in. You may be wondering, hmm, how much does Slidekick cost? Well, Slidekick and Google Slides are all entirely free. There are, there's no charge to use them. So what exactly can you do with Slidekick? And so I'm going to walk through today just a very high-level overview of what you can find in the app. And I'm going to try to go back and do a little screenshot up here to the side. And so hopefully it'll, it'll turn out so that you can see it. Um, so just kind of scrolling down the list, you'll be able to see any news and updates from your Google Slides admin team. The second thing that you'll see on the list is some basic information about the Google Slides group. So you can actually learn a little bit about how this group came to be and some of the amazing people who started it. You'll find out who's who in Google Slides, learn who are the admins, who are the moderators, and who are the editors. You'll have the opportunity to email them and thank them, or even tip them if you choose. Um, then you can go down the list and see specifically the Google Slides admin team. And let me tell you, these folks do a tremendous amount of work behind the scenes to, to make these tools available for us all. And so you'll be able to meet the sliders behind this group and find out more about them. Next on the list, there's a link where you can go and create and contribute. So when you go in there, you'll find templates that you can use to make your own Google Slides and resources to help you learn how to make those Google Slides. You can even upload your creations right from the app. There is a little delay from the time you upload a submission to the time it gets posted in Slidekick because there's an editing process that it goes through. So just be patient and, uh, and create away. Then there's a join us section, and in the join us section, you'll have access to pre-recorded Zoom sessions that will help teach you about Google Slides and Slidekick, or you'll see if there's any upcoming live events that are scheduled. Then down along the bottom, you'll see a couple of different things. You'll see a rewards, um, a rewards section with a little star. And that's where you can search by category or by topic for a specific reward. And also by lesson. So if you wanted to look by lesson for props, extension rewards, feedback templates, and more. 
So we're going to look at those two in much more detail in upcoming videos. So stay tuned and make sure that you follow back up and watch the next videos. Um, just as a quick preview, episode number two is going to be all about rewards. Episode number three will be all about props. Episode four will be how you can use rapport, uh, use Google Slides and slide kick to build rapport in your classroom and then episode number five is bringing it all together and just tying up the whole package with google slides and slide kick and again to get started make sure you go check out the google slides facebook group because that's the first step in this entire process so i hope to see you in our next episode in the meantime happy teaching and happy sliding goodbye <laughs>